Ladies and gentlemen, hi. Welcome to yet another replay um, due to a... Uh, oh, another uh, video being lost to the sands of time. There we go. Uh, we're going to be let's playing um, Final Fantasy Origins. And as is tradition with uh, Final Fantasy stuff, I don't care what party I get. So we're going to pick a party by going here to random.org. As you may know, there are six parties in Final Fantasy 1. And there are four characters in the party, so we're going to roll four virtual dice. And in order from Fighter to Black Mage, same numbers as the die. Um, so Fighter is one, uh, Thief is two, Black Belt is three, so on and so forth. So, uh, let's hit the button. Ugh. So we've got a fighter, uh, we have a red mage, and we have two white mages. That kinda sucks. Kinda sucks, ain't gonna lie. But that's what we got, that's what we gotta go with. So, um, yeah, I'll uh, boot up the emulator here and we'll get started. Fighter, red mage, two white mages. Yuck. And so here we are on uh, Duck Station, my new favorite PlayStation emulator. And this is going to take a minute because I think there's some things on. Oh, that. Reset. No, actually, I think we're good. Cool. Uh, there's an intro. I'm going to let you guys watch that. And I'm going to go grab some coffee. You betcha. We got sound, right? Sound? We got sound. I'll I'll be back before this is done. You go ahead.
God, I forgot that that's 37 minutes long. Hey, new game. Normal. So one of the changes, uh, other than obviously the graphical and musical quote enhancements, unquote, is uh, we can play on easy or normal. Normal's pretty damn easy. Easy is, oh my god, why we just hold the button and you win. So we're of course playing on normal. Uh, this is a warrior, so we're gonna take him. His name will be... Gonna fit. Yeah, it's fine. Wario! Uh, we had a red mage. His name will be... Red. Red. We got a white mage. Your name will be... A whiter. And then we have final white mage. Your name will be... Pale. Because, see, it's a whiter shade of pale. True. That's how it works. Yep. So, we had that whole, like, FMV intro, right? Pretty cool. Uh, has nothing to do with anything that's going on in the game. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, this is, of course, a... I, I believe the first remake of Final Fantasy 1? This came out on the uh, PlayStation uh, with Final Fantasy 2 and the Final Fantasy Origins collection. It changes a heck of a lot, um, most notably... You know, of course, we saw graphics and all that. Smaller number, faster, we want that as small as possible. Okay. Darker, so it's a little easier to read. Uh, we have vibration, which ain't gonna work on this. So we got collections, which is new bonus stuff. Oh boy. Um, yeah. I don't love it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't love it. Here's the thing. They, they upgraded it. They made it look all fancy schmancy. And they made it sound all fancy schmancy. And some of the things are good, like this version of the town theme. Pretty good. But it took away all the charm, you know? It's it's not as charming as it once was. Hi the handsome. Mm -hmm. So, like, in the original, you would look at this and you'd be like, come wash your face. And now it's like, wash it with my water! Fountain is yelling at us. Bless the crystals. We are no longer warriors reviving the power of the orbs. We're blessing the crystals. Alright, so I want two of those. And I want two of those. I'm not exactly looking forward to this playthrough. I'm glad we got a warrior, at least. That's okay. I don't like not having uh, better physical damage. So, those. Do those. And now I can afford one spell. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. So optimize has been added. Seeing the changes to your stats when you're doing stuff has been added. Um... You see over there on the left, we have HP and MP. Current experience and experience to the next level, blah, 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 blah. Magic works the same. It's charge-based, not MP-based. The equipment section is different. Formation here is different. Um, so no rows, since that doesn't exist. Memo is just like attempt save. Stopping works a heck of a lot different. You can now buy multiples of things. Um, who rescued the princess? We don't know nothing, but she's gone. Mm -hmm. One of those for you. Being able to use that'll be nice, I guess. We have descriptions of the spells. Um, 
the, the off to find the crescent moon. I told him it was in the sky, the dope. This is a church. We will probably need it because for whatever reason, I find it hard keeping people alive in this game. I don't know why. It's a thing that happens. Something else to do. We can't leave until we talk to this guy. And he's like, oh, you, you're the right, light, light, right, right, Dr. Dr. Right Warriors. You need to go talk to the king, which you did not have to do in the original. He's like, do you have the thing? And we're like, look, we got the thing. And everybody's like, oh my God, the thing. And then the prophecy says that you were going to come and you were going to bring the thing. This is truly an auspicious moment. And this guy's like, are we sure they're really them, though? And the king's like, but they have the thing. Maybe we should send them on a thing to do the thing to make sure that they are the ones with the things. This guy's like, oh, this other guy who kind of looks like the guy from the intro, but really isn't. He stole the princess and he ran away. And we're, it's a long walk and we're lazy. So could you... uh? you go and do it and if you do it i'll build you a bridge it'll be great because you know we don't need any trade in this we don't you know completely foregoing the economic benefits to our our country here uh we ain't gonna do it okay catch all that beautiful so um we're all equipped we got our one magic spell we've already taken 200 steps can you believe it so, I'm going to do a couple of battles, show off a couple of things, because battles have changed ever so slightly. And then I will be off-screening, getting some levels. These are goblins. No, they're not. They're imps, you silly game. Uh, enemy strike first. This is basically the same. Um, it's the same stuff, different layout. Attack is attack. Magic is magic. Items was drink in the original. Let's use your consumables. Uh, equipment lets you, you know, use your equipment. Uh, and flee is run away. So, this is how we would do this in the original. You pick a person, you pick an enemy, you go to town. They did fix the auto target. That's probably the biggest benefit. So, you attack an enemy, you kill it. They automatically target the next one instead of trying to hit an empty space. Got it? Got it. So there's some money, there's some experience points. Um, doing all of this opens this stuff up. This is the bestiary where we can see information about the monsters. We fought and killed three goblins. There's all the goblin stuff. Isn't that great? Sure, I'll bet you'd like to see a picture of a goblin, wouldn't you? There you go. Amazing. And yeah, that's... We'll get more into these two when we have the option to. That will be soon. I honestly don't remember what that one is. So, I ain't gonna worry about that too much. <clears throat> so, like I said, I want to be level... Honestly, you can do this at level one, but I want some more magic. Um, because this is awful. So, uh, I'm gonna pause the video. And I'm gonna get up to about level three. Level three should be good. And uh, when I get there, we'll come back. No new enemies? No, nothing new. All right. See you, see you when I see you. You guys ready for some hot game saving action? <clears throat> so we have just hit level three. We have been 1,000 steps. Took a while. Uh, the um, random encounters were not a. Uh, not doing it for me. Um, one of the things changed in this game is instead of just going into the building and boom, you're talking to the person. Now you can walk around. These guys are just like your little, let's, let's tell you how to do stuff. Because maybe you don't know. You know what I mean? And uh, we don't need that in our life. But we have come up with uh, 700 gold. Gil, whatever. So we're going to uh, drop some of that. Two of these, because that is a very nice spell to have, especially early and even in the mid game. Um, you got a multi target spell that does holy damage, that's pretty good. And fire and bolt. So, I don't want to 
level up to the point where it's like, I'm not leveling up to get stronger, you know what I mean? But as you may notice, now we have three charges of this level and two charges of this level. This is how you unlock other levels. And we're going to want to have level three and uh, level three unlocked before too long. I think you got to hit level six for three to unlock, if I remember right. Um, six or seven, I think. But once we get that, then, then we're ready to kind of tackle the first big thing of the game. I'm going to, I'm going to try and approach this let's play like you guys aren't dumb and you know what's going on, but I'm going to explain a little bit. Anyway. Uh, of course, we're on a world map. We have a random encounters, and depending on the terrain, your encounter rate changes. It's pretty low here. It's higher in the trees. The encounter rate in this game is high. Where were you guys when I was leveling up? The encounter rate in this game is higher than it is in the NES game. That is also true for Final Fantasy II, which already had a high encounter rate to begin with. Goblin guards are the gray imps from the first game. They are just stronger goblins. They give uh, more experience points and more gold, but they also have more health and do more damage. So I like splitting it up, you know, have my weak people attack the weaker enemies, have my stronger people attack the stronger enemies. Battles like this still do take forever because you gotta wait for everybody to do their thing. But it, it's not too bad. Do we need to do it this way? No, we don't need to do it this way. But... This just gives you guys a little insight onto how I handle battles in this game. If you're able to kill an enemy in one hit, why not take out an enemy? Because then that's an enemy that's not gonna hit you later. We have lost a ton of health. Wider has lost, what, 19? Not 19. What am I talking about? I can't math today, I'm sorry. This is a game that, had I started this recording session... See, I gotta edit. This is a game that, had I started it like two hours ago, probably could finish it today. Like, single sitting, but not gonna. This is Marshland. It also has a higher encounter rate than planes. Sorry. Ah, a new enemy. It's a Black Widow, which in this game is, in the original was a spider. It is not poisonous, uh, despite it being a Black Widow in this version. Pretty wimpy. not too hard to deal with. There are other types of enemies that appear up around here and we haven't run into them yet. All right, entering the Temple of Chaos. We're gonna open this up here in a minute because that is our treasure collection. guys are getting screwed out on these encounters. It's a leather cap. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Hey, item collection. We will be collecting everything in the game. Um, defense 15, defense 15. Not too shabby. Right? They even have the same face. Everybody has the same face. There's a little more defense for you, because your defense is atrocious. Alright, skeletons. Skeletons are also nothing to be super worried about. They're not much stronger than imps. They die pretty easy. Nothing, you know, just nothing. Uh, I liked their design in the original. It was pretty good. Uh, we will be going for 100% completion. <laughs> Zombies! Uh, just slightly stronger skeletons. Uh, but we won't be 100% completing every area that we come to as soon as we come to it. There will be a video way at the end of this. Wow. That was awful, guys. Show that off. Um, there will be a video at the end where we go and collect all the items. 
Good spell. Pretty good spell. We might... Oh my god. It was another spider and it took seven attacks to kill it because we missed. Um, we're also going to try and go for full enemy. Oh my god. Ghouls are powered up zombies. Ghouls at this point in the game are kind of dangerous because they have a lot of health compared to everything else we've run into. They do a lot of damage and they can paralyze you. Paralyze in this game is a status ailment that you're going to run into fairly often. It may be the most common or the second most common. You cannot cure it. It just wears off on its own. But yes, we will attempt to maybe go... That's dead. Uh, we will attempt to get 100% of enemies as well as items. There is one enemy that's incredibly hard to find uh, late game. We'll see. I didn't talk about what we found in those chests. Uh, potion restores a little health. Tent restores health to the whole party and saves the game you have to use it outdoors. I'm going to go ahead and use this because wider is just getting wrecked. Do we need to? No. These encounter rates. These encounter rates are bringing me down. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Um, you take a look at our, our various health here. Okay, warrior, Wario, excuse me, and Pale both have 84 HP and Red and Whiter have 55. It just happens like that. It is, there's no, like, rhyme or reason to how some of these level ups are like, like, there's not a vitality stat, and the higher your vitality, the more HP you learn. You know what I mean? HP you learn? Anyway. Bad guy. Hey, buddy! You are the hack. See, in the original, he was gonna knock us all down. But this time, he ain't gonna do that. All right, uh, here's another new thing. We have boss music. Didn't have boss music in the first game. Not really. Go ahead and let's show off some magic. Cast fire. Let's let you cure and you attack. Load. Wow, it's incredible. He, he pretty much shot that crit. It's gonna really, really screw him up. This is not a hard fight. You can beat this at level one. You might actually lose a character at level one, though, if you're not lucky. It does give some very good money, though. 250 gold is, is pretty good at this point. I could do without this stuff. This is something that Star Ocean does that just drives me nuts. It's like, oh, the little boxes. <laughs> yeah, we know, lady. He already said that if we brought you back, he'd build us a bridge. What? He tells that to everybody. Oh, you brought her back. Look, you must be because you had the thing. Can you take the thing and do the thing and then the thing will be good? Oh, I'll build a bridge for you. You. Oh, you did the thing here. Have, have my mandolin. It's pretty great. And this guy who should be like, oh, I'm sorry. I doubted you. He's like, nope. Knew it all along. Knew it all along. Well, now we got to watch a stupid cutscene. We don't need these. We do not need these. They add nothing. I, did I mention this? Like, for all the polish that they put into this, like, adding this and changing the graphics and, you know, all the extra content, like the bestiary and all that, it's not charming anymore. It looks kind of like garbage. Look at that water. That is garbage water. That water is made of trash.
This is, it's just like, we made this in Game Maker. That's what it feels like to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I bought this, number one, so I could play Final Fantasy 2. And number two, because I like, I really like Final Fantasy games, uh, at least the first few. I thought it would be a lot of fun to play. And then this just, it just sucked all the joy out of it for me. This is probably one of the games most responsible for uh, turning me off of remakes. Because Do you know how many versions of Final Fantasy 1 there are? There's like 16. I'm not kidding. There are over 10 versions of Final Fantasy 1 in the world right now. That is ridiculous. Especially since, how hard is it to, like, we're putting NESs on chips now. We've been doing that for years. Why do you gotta keep doing crap like this? And the Game Boy was like, we added a bonus dungeon, woo. It's so dumb. Stop doing it. I'm only doing this for completion's sake. I do not enjoy playing this version of the game. Don't, don't enjoy it. You gotta do this thing, which again, this was in the original. This was like the only cutscene thing in the original. And it was fine. It was great. Because it made it feel more important. It made it feel bigger. It's, I, I don't, eh. We walked around the corner and through some trees, and apparently we're 17 miles away now. Not gonna let it get me down. Hmm. Excuse me. Snare drum sounds terrible. Blah, 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 blah. It's quicker in the original because you can progress it. Programmed by Nasser. That's what the original would say right about now. Everybody's, everybody's talking at me. You were saying. Alright, you know, that's a good place to stop. I, I had actually considered just recording like a big giant chunk. But if I gotta edit out the battles, this will be better. So see you next time. We'll, we'll look how far away from that castle we are. Oh my god! <laughs>